God, help me! I'm begging you! It hurts! Oh God, it hurts! <laughs> You... you're not with that psycho Vic. Please, I don't want to burn! Oh god, that's Hardy Knox. Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! My family and I owe you everything, strangers. God sent you to me as surely as he sent the Patriarch. The name's Hardy Knox, of the Hundred Families. I'd shake your hands, but... Uh, everything hurts right now. Everything. <laughs> Vic Buchanan. That freak. That... Monster. Killing folk. Cutting them open. Laughing the whole time. The Patriarch knew what his son was. That's why he banished Vic into the mountains. Nobody thought Vic would survive. Let alone come back with an army. He slaughtered damn near everyone he found here. Tortured the rest. Little Lucia Wesson, what are you doing out here? Long story, Mr. Knox. Glad we got here in time. Well, you're a credit to your daddy, helping folk like this. He must be proud as hell. We're bison ranchers. I oversee the wrangling, and my Miriam does the real work while I play cowboy. You're welcome at our ranches any time, strangers. Can't ever thank you enough for what you've done. Sure. Harden your hearts. You'll see things in there. Things he's done to his hostages, the other people from families that offended him. That'll burn marks on your soul. And he's not alone. Those breathers of his. Well, I don't know much about them, but they treated me like livestock. A bunch of his sadistic friends. Same crew that followed him around Colorado Springs and got banished with him, as I recall. Soon. I'll have to find a working vehicle. Should be some at the base camp. <sighs> you too, strangers. And if you could see your way clear to saving any other hostages in there, well... Well, I'm sure their people back home would be grateful. Especially the ones from the Hundred Families. Not that you need rewards to do the right thing, but... There it is. God protect and preserve you, strangers.
God protect and preserve you, strangers.
received. Cut that blade!
Don't let me die! And you brought the copy with you. Hot damn. I stand to shake your hands, but around two days ago, I missed a call because I was in the can. When I got back, they nailed my feet to the floor. Hard to say. I think they missed the bones. But every time I check, it's not the worst part. They were laughing when they did it. Like kids playing a game. Get me out of this, Rangers. Get these goddamn nails out of me. God, poor Riley. All right, now let me give you a situation report before I pass the fuck out. Vic, the Patriarch's son, is in the Patriarch's wing, doing God knows what. Rangers, I can't say this enough. As bad as his guys are, Vic is worse, much worse. Yeah. As bad as that was, I'm alive. I'll probably heal. Vic's games leave people dead. I heard Ash. It's one of Vic's inner circle, saying he had the key to the Patriarch's wing. He's in some kind of security control room, not far down the hall. More importantly, Vic has hostages. Killed most of them, but two from my team are being tortured, and so are three from the 100 families. I don't know their exact locations, but I strongly suggest you try to find those five hostages before taking on Vic himself. There's a male, part of the Ward family, and two sisters, part of the Reed family. Can't really say much more. Even before the nails, they kept me locked down. Overall, I'm not sure. I know they took Bazeppi to a science lab. They have her working with someone named The Gift. It sounds like that big brain of hers is keeping her safe. I have no idea where they took Laloka and Rook. The guards in the lobby kept joking about how lucky I was compared to what Vic was planning for the two of them. I really hope they're okay. What a fucking mess. The breathers. They never talked to me, but they look tough. I'm not sure what they want and why they're working for Vic. Well, you probably know my brother, General Woodson, Wade. Spent a lot of time helping him, and I never got any field experience. That was the point of coming to Colorado. Looks like I got it, huh? More than I can handle. Wade's gonna laugh and laugh. Spent a lot of time behind the radio giving orders, never getting them, never seeing what the world was like outside my brother's shadow. I have to say, 
I miss those days now. To think I used to worry about losing my shit in a fight. Nice of you to say. Yeah, I'll try. Ah, ugh, fuck it. Ah. Hello again, Rangers. What can I do for you? Yeah. Ah, ugh, fuck it. Ah. I'm hearing something to the left. Uh, hey y'all! I can hear you outside the door. Hello! My name's Ash. I guess I shouldn't tell you that. Anyway, Vic says you can't come in here. Well, this is where all the security systems are. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have told you that either. But what the heck. When I said you can't come in, I meant that I got a kill switch in here. Yeah, if you barge in, I gotta kill all the hostages. I'm, um, sorry about that, but that's what Vic told me to do. But I'm way more scared of Vic than I am of you. Afraid I don't have much choice. Okay. Uh, see you. Off button. Off button. Hello again. Uh, I mean, back off, okay? Or the hostages get it, okay? Off button. Off button. Uh, oh. There it is. Again, Rangers. What can I do for you? The breathers. They never talk to me. Yeah. Who sent you? Daddy? Or Libby? You can tell me. Don't be shy. Fancy folks in that picture.
Look like you. Sound like you. Do you know them? Yes, Gift. I know them. They don't want to hurt anyone. They want to help. Is that so? So, Rangers. You've killed many of my breathers on your way here. You want to help? Let's start by ending the killing, then. You care for your tribe. Good. We have this in common, as I care for mine. But understand, my breathers don't live in the same reality you do. They move in and out of the dream under Victory's guidance. And Victory guided them to fight off intruders. So, introductions? I am the gift. I make the gases that enable my breathers to live in the dream. But it was Victory that first showed us the dream. It is his guidance that shows us the path through it. But I do not approve of all this killing. Why bring death into the dream? And not all you outsiders are that bad. Pazepi here has been a real help. So... Let's talk, yes? you aren't. Bullets, blood, death. We will stop you. But for now, we can talk. Your friend will stay with us to ensure everyone stays on their best behavior. So, you must have questions. it is. My mother, my sister, me. This was before. Don't remember this place. Too long ago. But this was her home. The girl I was. The girl that broke. The girl victory healed. A kindness, but 
Escape from what? Victory found me when I was broken, shaped me into what I am now. It is where I should be. I am the gift because of what I bring into the world. Access to the dream. Victory showed me this. He showed us all. I don't believe that. You think you know victory, but you don't. This killing, it's not all of who he is. He gifted us the dream. He made the breathers. What are these people, if not all saved by victory, guided by his hand? Guided to help him. Yes, Victory Buchanan gave it to me. Strong, reliable. It lets me move, broken as I am. Once, yes. have killed me. Others. Another of Victory's small jokes. Victory took your ranger friends. Beat and humiliated. I assessed them. Saw her. So... Intelligence. Knowledge. Both rare. Convinced victory to give her to me. Gratitude. A rare thing. Thank you. Victory will kill you. Can't be helped. But not her. She is brilliant. A treasure. A gift. Your curiosity speaks well of you. Ask. This? No. I need to remain in reality, to guide others into the dream. This, this is for the pain. Suggestion. My breathers are not entirely here. They see the world differently. Victory understands as he's seen the same world, so he can suggest truths they would otherwise not see.
distressing. There is no violence in the dream, but when they're in there, they're pliable, suggestible, like children. I have always trusted victory to guide them well. Yes, let's. Talk then. I know, I know. Deal with him as you like. We will not interfere. The breathers will travel their own path now, without victory. Go if you want. Can still use you, but go if you want. Thank you, Gift. Rangers, let's talk. Outside. But be warned. Other than my guards, the breathers inside this lodge are too far gone into the dream for me to reach. Avoid them if you can. Kill them if you must. Goodness, Rangers! We thought we were the only ones who survived the ambush on the lake. Pazeppi, you're here! Jody, you survived! I am so glad to see you. We have common interests. At first, I thought she was going to cut me open. But after they gassed me to keep me compliant and it didn't work, we talked about chemistry all night. It was practically a slumber party. Well, you know, it's hard to leave anywhere once you get comfortable, so to speak. I've been trying to figure out where La Loca and Rook were taken. They're the others from my team, but you probably know that. Maybe you can help them? Let's not forget about Woodson. Have you found him yet? They made him work on the radio. This place, this damn place. Sorry, language. Vic is in the Patriarch's wing, the fancy one. The prisoners are all somewhere else. I don't know. I heard a guard talking about chemical testing being done on a man in the sauna. There were five hostages left apart from Woodson and me. I was separated from them when the gift requested that I remain by her side. One thing I've learned here? <laughs> it's not safe to assume that anyone is bluffing about how crazy they are. Make sure you save anyone you can before going after him again. The other two hostages were women, and they were part of the hundred families. I'm not sure where they were taken. I'm sure you could. Truth be told, what I need right now is a breather. This place really was hell and I need to gather my wits. But I'll be rooting for you. And let's talk once you're done here, yeah? Now, where did I put the rest of my stuff?
everyone. Hello again. Questions? into my dream. Hide. No. Yes. Hide. 